You know that really cool Sony phone with a full-size HDMI port that you're probably lusting after, but you don't actually want to buy because one, it's too expensive, and two, maybe you're an Apple fanboy. Well, fear no more because this device will turn this device into accepting this thing. At eight, but just in case you're wondering why, why exactly do you need another monitor for your camera when your camera's got one already? Camera takes video, eyes need to see screen, but you don't want to go squinty make squint face, and you probably will because the screen is too small and not big and bright enough. Hence, need for bigger and brighter screen. Alternatively, vloggers with cameras without a flip screen might need one to see what they're recording. Ugh. Ugh. Or if you're even recording at all. In addition to that, monitors give you loads of tools and stuff to help you take better videos. But not everybody wants to buy an external monitor just for those purposes, so why not use your phone? And you can. Let's connect it up, shall we? NPF battery. HDMI cable. Another cable. Then we've got USB-C to Lightning or USB-C to USB-C for either iPhone or iPad. And that's pretty much it, simple as. Like other acts and stuff, it's made to be really quick and easy to get started. Switch on, plug it in. And instantly you get CMO. That's what we want, click monitor. And then that's it, less faff when you're out and about. So here I am, I'm out with my camera and the Action CMO. See more, CMO, whatever. Fits in the pocket. And then let's put it on. So, here we go. Might need it as a vlogging screen. So let's put it this way. So it, it does it, it should extend for a, a Pro Max as well. Like so. Okay. Plug it in its butt, switch it on. And then that's it. No, it's not, that's not it. That's not, <laughs> I need to plug in the HDMI cable. <laughs> Feeding it to the swans. There you go, it's plugged in. Plug in. So the HDMI port on the CMO is on this side. It stretches around to the left side of the camera because I'm going to be doing this vlogging. But if you're not vlogging, if you're just using it as a monitor, it should be fine. It's like that. But another thing is that you can actually separate them. I don't want to have just eat. Now is not the time for food. Well, now it's time for your food, but not time for my food. So you can actually separate the battery and the phone hold element. So you could actually just mount the battery somewhere and have the phone in a different place, so long as you've got cable long enough. Yay, finally in focus. Oh, never mind. All right, let's put it back though. So yeah, we've got all the video assist tools. We've got uh, Zebra, which I probably need when taking videos of these swans. Is they're white. They're all white. They're just a natural born reflector of the sun. So they're gonna be super overexposed. There we are. Overexposed, aren't you? It's got some feathers in his mouth. He's probably just killed another swan, judging by how evil they are. So yeah, I can put the zebra on. Uh, a bit overexposed there. Overexposed, aren't you, mate? No answer. They've definitely got an attitude problem. What other video tools does it have, though? Oh. Ah! Waveforms, histograms, etc. Lots of stuff. We got peaking, zebra, false color. And oh, audio levels. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, aspect ratio. Also, anamorphic stuff. Grid lines. Oh, what's that? That's LUT. Slap a LUT on it. And that's the mirror mode, which is handy, as I said, if you want to use this monitor for filming yourself rather than having it like that and you're looking at the screen and it's all flipped. So yeah, no need to buy a new camera. You just use your phone and you get one of these. You got tilty flippy goodness right there. Oh, I just need to mirror it, don't I? Because when it's not mirrored, you think, oh, I need to move it that way, but it's actually the wrong way, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, now that's mirrored. This, my right hand is on that side of the screen. It's mirrored basically, which is just what you need when you're vlogging. Woo. Okay, you can save screenshots. Ah, I bet you thought the video was frozen there. That's the screenshot, by the way. You got more stuff than you ever really need for, for basic video peeps like me. Just really useful stuff that is self-explanatory, which makes my life easier because I've just said what it does. And as old Clooney might say, what else? So now we can use it as a vlogging screen. Uh, well, this actually doesn't have a tilty flippy screen, so this can be used as a makeshift. Well, not makeshift, it is a proper screen. I'm out here with my boys. Probably gonna pack my face off. In some ways, you can't beat the iPhone screen for brightness and visibility in 
bright sunlight like this. <laughs> Sometimes monitors that you buy for video, you can't see anything. But with this, it's really, really great. At maximum brightness settings, the iPhone 13 screen is a little bit brighter than a 5 inch Atmos Shinobi. The CMO and iPhone will be very, very slightly behind in latency compared to the HDMI straight into Shinobi, but really not much in it. You know, this is not the biggest, this is not max. It's still going to be bigger than the, the Sony screen. Sony screen is a little bit tiny. This is the A7 III, so kind of oldish tech compared to the current generation. But still, the current generation isn't exactly super high-res screens. It's not the best camera that is with you. It's the best monitor is the one that you have with you. It really is fantastic. I mean, it is convenient to just have a monitor which you already have in your pocket instead of carrying an extra device, a monitor that just monitors stuff. This is your smartphone, isn't it? Crikey. It doesn't like dogs. It sounded like a snake, that one. Apart from the convenience aspect, the phone screen is really damn good. And to add the tools that you need for taking video, that's just about perfect, isn't it? They act, they act all hard and stuff. But at the end of the day, they just look like a Vegas showgirl. Keep an eye on this one. I just know he's gonna peck my ass or some shit. But another cool thing is that apart from recording from that camera, you can also hit record. You can also go live here. You can see the live button or you can hit record. And of course, if you really want to, you know, it's got a live button. You can go live. I don't know why you want to take live video of some swans and, and stuff like that, just cleaning the, their ass. Cleaning your ass live, swan edition. Uh, got three configurations, which is presumably for your favorite three uh, live outlets and service type. Ooh, we got custom YouTube, Facebook, Billy Billy. Billy Billy is um, a guy with no mates. Twice, okay. And of course there's a record button there for recording video straight into your phone. You know, you don't just have to record in camera, you can record out of camera to your phone. So this recording to the camera, 4K, and also to the phone. It's a 1080, 1080 recording in the phone. Oh, he did a, oh, he did a poo, great. I don't know if you got the sound of that, it was like a nice... So what that means is that I can carry on recording full res, 4K with that camera, but also at the same time, I can record a 1080 file, smaller size, straight to the phone, which is good for a number of reasons. I hear you ask, why do you need to record on the phone when you're recording a nice 4K footage in camera? Well, because everybody's on the internet these days, social media, isn't it? and your camera is not connected to the internet. So if you want to quickly upload an Insta video or upload a video to YouTube via your phone, you've already recorded it to your phone instead of putting your file onto a computer, going through a slow process. And I'm sure Apple is not gonna release any full-size HDMI port phone anytime soon because they're not Sony, so this SEMO is pretty cool if you want to turn your iPhone into a monitor or to get your files from your camera to your phone to social media as quick as possible. So yeah, what else can you use it for? Well, you can also record, I mean, because it's HDMI in, gaming? You can record your gaming. I tried it out, it's pretty good. Come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Oh. Bosh, isn't that messy? I mean, latency is, is actually all right. So you can almost even use your iPhone or iPad as a gaming monitor. Not on the crowd, they want to see him take on the shot. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. That was a penalty, mate. Substitution it is for PSG. Oh, they've done it! They've Ooh, the how's about that, Mbappe? Ooh, lumpy face. Back to the Farmers League you go, the end of the game, boom, and it's in a your face. For Real Madrid.